Hello everybody, I hope you're having a great day. This is another video provided to you by the Respiratory Protection Branch of the Santee Fire Department. Today we're going to be talking about our monthly check sheet and how to do our monthly checks on our SCBA. First thing we're going to need to do is to print out our monthly check sheet. The main thing on this is to make sure that it's completely filled out. So the first thing we're going to do is put our name on there, our employee number, our signature, and then the date. The date is extremely important so that uh, the respiratory department knows when that SCBA was tested. Additionally, in the bottom, you'll see it asks for the SCBA serial number and then accountability tag number. So whatever the accountability tag is on that BA, we're gonna enter that on that line and then we're gonna look for our, our serial number, which can be found on the back plate right here. This one is BRTK-4191. Generally, it'll be a BRTN-4 digit number. If you can't see it here for whatever reason, you can look at the bottom of the first stage reducer and there will be a laser etched uh, serial number in there. That number will correlate with the one that's on the back plate. If you can't see it here, you might need a flashlight or just to clean that a little bit and get some of the soot off of there. So once you have that completed and our, your form filled out, the next thing I, I like to do is start with the back plate, the harness, and then your buddy breather connection. So what I'll do is I'll take the buddy breather out of the pouch, check it, make sure it's not damaged, make sure the covers are on it, and then replace it. Check the back plate and all the straps and make sure that they're not um, damaged or uh, about to have any failure. And then check the back plate and make sure uh, that it's in good working order as well. The next thing I like to do is start with the BA bottle off and check the ball nose o-ring. As you can see the ball nose o-ring in there is the white o-ring. Just make sure it's not damaged at all because if it is damaged you potentially are going to have a leak at that connection. The next thing you're going to want to do is grab your molly coat and then put a small dab of that on the LDV o-ring. It just needs enough to make it shiny and that's about it. Um, at this point as well, I'll make sure my LDV is in standby by pressing the blue button on top and make sure that the emergency bypass valve is off. At this point, we're gonna need our SCBA cylinder. I'm gonna take the cylinder, put it in the back plate, and then make the connection. And when you make the connection, it just needs to be finger tight. You don't need to cinch it down too hard. We're gonna tighten the strap that holds the cylinder on. And then we're just gonna look back at our sheet and make sure that we're hitting all the proper checks. So the first thing I like to do is grab my mask and check my heads up display, which is one of the tests that we're gonna check. I charge the system. Give it a few seconds to equalize. At the same time I'm checking my heads up display, the lights come on so I know I'm good. At this point I can put my mask to the side. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna check is my cylinder gauge, my cylinder gauge and then my shoulder gauge and make sure that they're within 10% uh, 10 10 of each other or about 500 PSI. Um, I listen for my pass to to activate to go into standby mode and then at this point I'm going to shut my cylinder off and we're gonna wait for a minute and during that minute we're gonna take a look at our our shoulder gauge our chest uh, gauge um, at the same time I'm gonna allow my pass to go into activation mode because we need to make sure that the pass is working as well so once a minute goes by what you're going to do is you're going to reopen the cylinder and you're going to check to make sure that the needle moves less than one uh, hash mark or one, one needle mark, which is uh, approximately 200 PSI. So I'm going to open it back up 
and it's good. We're gonna close the bottle back up. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the LDV and then at the same time, we're also gonna check the low air whistle alarm, which the low air whistle alarm has to operate within 25% plus or minus 2% of the rated cylinder pressure. <clears throat> For the LDV, we just need to make sure it goes into standby, which it already is, and then that the emergency bypass valve is working as well. So the best way to check the low pressure whistle alarm, place your hand over the front of the LDV and basically just feather this down on the emergency bypass valve while at the same time keeping an eye on your shoulder gauge or your chest gauge to make sure that it's going off at approximately 1125. So keep your hand over, gently bleed it down. Getting close, start to slow down a little bit. And it was right at 25% of the bottle. So now what I'm gonna do is I bled all the pressure off, put my pass in standby, or shut my pass off. I'm gonna bleed all the air out with the uh, emergency bypass valve. And then I'm gonna give it a few seconds, maybe 10 seconds, and then press that bypass valve again and make sure no more air comes out. And that's gonna be your low pressure leak test. At this point, just double check back through your check sheet. Everything looks good. We've hit everything. The last thing to do is we're gonna check the connection between your mask and your LDV. So push it in, you hear the click, make sure it feels tight, disconnect it. And one of the things that will help with that uh, the most is gonna be to make sure that that LDV O-ring is lubricated. Well, I thank you guys for your time. I hope you learned something. I hope it's going to be beneficial. And uh, remember, be safe out there and happy breathing. Thanks.